All right, everyone, and welcome back to another NC Go workout. I'll be taking you through it. My name is Jason, super excited for this one. This one's gonna be a little bit different. We have these single leg Romanian deadlifts, which are always fun. Then we get into some beautiful EMOMs to finish off the day. I'm excited to have you with me. We're gonna begin with our five minute warm up as per usual. What we're looking for today is gonna be this two minute of any type of cardio. So I'm gonna jump on the bike, but if you don't have a bike, grab a rower. If you don't have a rower, grab a, you know, just go out for a two minute run, just get your heart rate elevated. When we come back in, we're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks, everybody's favorite pastime, you know, PE class exercise and then 30 seconds of non-weighted good mornings. We're just gonna hinge at the hips. I'll take you through all that. Nice way to open up the hamstrings today. After we're done with that, we're gonna rest, recover, talk about your strength session, and then get into our EMOMs to finish it off. Today, you will need a set of dumbbells, specifically for the deficit push-ups. If you aren't gonna do a deficit, you only need one dumbbell for today. Uh, you could also use two dumbbells for our Romanian deadlifts, so keep those in mind. If you wanna grab out a heavier set and a lighter set, might be good because we're finishing off today with dumbbell snatches alternating where you might be able to go a little bit heavier than you were on the other exercises. But without further ado, we're super grateful to have you with us. Let's get ready for our five minute warm up. It begins with two minutes of any cardio of your choice. I'm gonna jump on the bike because uh, why not? Here we go. We start in two, one, and let's go. Right now you might be running, might now you might be rowing for me. I'm just structured on this idea of like 60%. I'm just kind of chilling. My shoulder's a little tight. My leg's a little tight. Yesterday I got after a really good NCX workout. So I'm just trying to open up my body a little bit here. What I'm thinking about on the bike is adjusting the seat level. So right now the seat is a little bit low for me. I want to ideally maybe raise it up about an inch to get full extension of my legs. I'm also thinking about the position of my seat. I'm a little too close to the handles here, but that's okay. Life is good. If you're running, jog it out. You can also do some shuttle sprints wherever you're at. Today we have a mixture of movements. Specifically, I was gonna incorporate our chest. So I'm gonna warm you guys up a little differently uh, than what might be on paper in addition to that. One minute left. As soon as we're done with this, we're gonna get onto our mat. If you don't have an NC Fit mat, you're really missing out. Get on your mat, and we're gonna do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. You're gonna love this one. Thirty seconds left. Here you go, 20 seconds. Last 10. Five seconds. Two, one. All right, crew, ready, set. Nice, easy jumping jacks. All I'm thinking about my arms come out, arms come in, legs come out, legs come in. Nice and easy. Ooh. 10 seconds. Start to feel that shoulder start to open up a little bit. Two, one. All right, here we go, next step. You're gonna take your knees, you're gonna hinge at them a little bit. Break them, hinge at the hip. Feel your hamstrings. Your low back should be engaged the entire time. If you start to feel your back brand out, flatten it out. 15 seconds. Ten seconds. Five seconds. In three, two, one. Right back to jumping jacks. Here we go, guys. Awesome work. Woo. Hopefully it's about a good week so far. We got a lot more working out to go today. We're just warming it up. Five seconds. 
and we switch up again. Two, one. All right, remember, break the crease of that knee, that's what I think about, and hinge. Keep that low back fly, you should really feel those hamstrings start to light up. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. In two, one, and back at it. Let's go. Yeah. Twenty seconds. Find your rhythm, get into that flow state. 10 seconds. A couple more seconds, here we go. All right, hinge. We got 20 seconds, crew. Keep that low back nice and flat. Feel those hamstrings. 10 more seconds. And then I'm gonna take you through a little stretch of our shoulder, our chest, get ready for what we have coming. Three, two, one. All right, got our hamstrings ready. Let's go ahead and do me a favor. Let's just do some walkouts. Walk out your hands from this position. Drop to your knees if you need to. Let's go ahead and perform a push-up. Open that chest, walk it back. There you go. Nice and easy. Get ready for today. Maybe do a push-up. Load your head through your shoulders. I don't know about you guys, but yesterday I had a bunch of toes to bar and some other stuff. Just trying to get ready for the burpees today. Loading that chest, loading that shoulder, opening up my position. <sighs> opening the hamstrings. All right, from here guys, let's go ahead and get ready for the workout of the day, our strength piece. Here's what we have going on. We have 12 on the left leg, 12 on the right leg, single leg uh, dumbbell Romanian deadlift. So essential we're looking for the difference between a traditional deadlift and Romanian is you have a little bit more, your knees are slightly pulled back, you have a little bit more hip hinge than squat position. That's the big difference there. But we're looking for, in this particular case, and balance will definitely become a factor here, is you're in this position, you have your single leg, you reach down, I'm gonna get off my mat actually. From here, you're gonna reach down, nice and calm, boom, 12. And you're looking to try and keep your hips relatively square, try and keep your knee relatively back, it's tough. You 12 one leg, 12 the opposite leg, trying to even keep your shoulder blades back, which is tough. From there, you're gonna get on your mat, or don't get on your mat, that's your choice. You're gonna perform 10, deficit push-ups, okay? So here's what we got, five sets. This is not for time, it's not meant to get crazy. It's just meant to have fun. All right, we're gonna have 12 and 12, 10, and boom. We're doing that on a 10 minute running clock, and our goal is to get it done five sets within 10 minutes, that's our goal. Let's see how long we do it. It's not for time, just groove with me. If you wanna load up your dumbbells a little bit more, you can. If this is a very difficult movement for you, you're having a tough time holding good positions, just go ahead and reach down with just your hands. That in itself is already a great stretch, already a great stimulus. Let's start in 10 seconds, guys. Again, this is not a race. We have 12 on our left leg, 12 on our right leg, or vice versa, whatever you want. I think I'm gonna start with left leg. I think I'm better at that. <laughs> All right, my back is flat, my chest is tall. From here, I'm gonna hinge over, whoa, one. There you go. Keep that knee back. Keep that body nice and rigid. Or at least, whoa, excuse me. Hard to talk and do this. Or at least attempt to. There you go. Woo! That gets good. I don't know if you guys are feeling it in your supporting leg, but I sure am. Switch it up. Q. 
keep those shoulder blades back. That's what I gotta remind myself. It's getting a little ugly here. Three. Four. Couple more reps. Ugh. Hold on to those dumbbells. All right. Whew. Oh boy. Better go. Now 10. All right. That's one round down. We better go, we're trying to finish this in 10 minutes, huh guys? I thought it was supposed to be chill. What happened to chill? If you need to, decrease the rep scheme, right? Maybe 12 was too many. I also think my technique was a little off in the beginning. Can't make it all the way down to the ground. Just get as far as you can. Ugh. Shh. Woo. If we need to shake up that grip, go for it. 12 reps. Let's get it. I don't do these often enough. These are great. A little different. All right, better bang it out. <laughs> if you can't get all the way to the ground, right? When I'm doing push-ups on dumbbells, I'm doing my elbows, staying in a strong position, chest below the floor. If you can't get that, don't do them on dumbbells, it's okay. If you guys have one leg, it's a little bit easier than the other. Oddly enough, my Non-dominant leg is significantly easier. Ooh. Ooh. Left leg, right leg. Ready, here we go. Come on, Jay. Balance, baby. I think this part's gonna be harder than the full body sprint. Ugh. Actually, I'm more than confident it is. All the way down. And I'm locking out my arms. You know, especially on these push-ups, it's really easy not to lock the way out. Try and fight for that. Work that full range of motion. All right, it's about that time. <laughs> Round three? No. Round four.
if 12 is too much for you, right? Drop this number down. Realistically, it's probably a little high. Especially at finishing time cap. I'm feeling myself want to get a little sloppy. Reminding myself not to get sloppy. Try and do it right. Let's go. Just holding on to these things. It's a little gnarly. Whew. All right, here we go. All the way down, elbows are in. All right, last one. This is it. Let's make it a good set, huh guys? I'm gonna try and keep my hips square, try and keep my shoulders back, but man, it's getting tough to do so. So, we gotta try. Almost done on this leg. Oh man. Left leg, thank you. Right leg, <laughs> not so thankful for me. Not so easy on my right leg. Here we go. Oh. Come on, Jay. Get it. Almost done here, guys. Last couple reps. Try and keep that leg pushed back. All right. Woo. Uh oh. Hurry up. Get in your 10. Boy, oh boy, what the heck just happened? That got aggressive quickly, huh guys? Whew. So now, it might be time for you to switch up from the dumbbells you were using. If you want, try and grab one single heavier dumbbell and we're gonna get ready for the sprint workout. Wow, that was good. All right, here's what it is, guys. It's gonna start off with 25 seconds of um, up, down, plus mountain climber. So, we're gonna be here, we're gonna drop down, boom. Mountain climber, one, two, back up again. Or, so it's down, one, two, up. It's a little weird. Okay, but you'll get used to it. It's gonna be 25 seconds of that, followed by 25 seconds of plank hold. And then we go DB snatch for the next 50 seconds, okay? After that for six minutes, we have one minute rest, okay? So on a call of go, 25 seconds. Up, down, mountain climber, up, down, mountain climber, crush it. Then 25 second plank hold. Then we're gonna grab our dumbbells, bang out that sucker for 50 seconds. That's what's gonna happen, and we're gonna love it. It's gonna be a great time. 
I'm feeling good. I don't know about you guys. Ali, are you feeling good? Yeah, Ali's feeling good. So Ali's feeling good. I'm feeling good. I hope you're feeling good. Six minute EMOM. Get your dumbbell ready. Get ready to rock and roll with us. Here we go. Oh boy. 10 seconds. Here we go. Up, down, mountain climber. Up, down, one, two, back up. There you go. Keep it going. Find your rhythm, you'll get it. Plank hold, drop down. Try to get that heart rate back down a little bit. 10 seconds. All right, here we go. DB snatch, alternating. You can alternate here in front of your body, alternate on the ground. Ready, set, let's go. Show you what it looks like on the ground. Ah. The goal here, non-stop movement, drive through your legs. Whew. Whip that sucker up. Ah. 10 seconds. Good. Woo. Five seconds. Two, one, let's go. A lot of ab in this one. It's good. It is good. Here we go. Plank hold. Plank hold. Oh. Here we go. Ten seconds. All right, here we go. Dumbbell time. Ready, set, let's go. Non-stop. I'm using my legs to create momentum. Trying to keep my weight towards my heels. Drive it up. Keep the dumbbell close to your body. Rest. Last round. We have one minute. Ready, set, let's go. Non-stop with me. Here you go. Plank hold, plank hold. 
I'm gonna do it in a push up here, just for the heck of it. Ten seconds. Five seconds, let's go. Two, one, all right. It's about that time. Ready. Two, one, let's go. Twenty five seconds. Rip it and rip it. We get a rest after this. Relax. All right. Burpee plus push on this guy. Here we go. One minute off. Woo. On this next one. It's a burpee plus a push up, okay? So we're gonna drop down to basically a a burpee, and as we come out of it, instead of standing up, we're gonna do another push up. We're gonna do that for 25 seconds, then we're gonna hold a plank for 25 seconds. Then we have dumbbell snatches again. Here we go. This is only four minutes. Ready? This burpee to push up is gonna feel weird at first. You guys got this, okay? Five seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Burpee, push up. Whoosh. Whoosh. Clap overhead if you want. Come on, come on. Five seconds. All right, plank hold, plank hold. Yeah. Breathe, recover. We gotta speed it up on that next round. Here we go, 10 seconds. All right. Ready. Round, minute two. Let's go. Let's go. Fifteen seconds. Keep it cranking. Ah. Woo. All right, let's go. Burpee. Almost brain for there. Come on. Plank hold. 
Push up or plank hold. You pick your poison. 10 seconds. Here we go. DB snatch is coming. We got DB snatches coming up. Ready, set. One minute break after this, let's go. Ha. Ah. Shh. Shh. 25 seconds. Keep it rocking. Yeah. 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 Come on. Woo. All right. One minute. Is it? 50 seconds of burpees. No push up additional. Just, bur just burpees. Old school. And then 50 seconds of uh, DV snatch. 30 seconds. Be on it today. It's a good one so far. Got in a lot of work already. This is our last two minutes. This is where we gotta let the wheels off a little bit. This is where when you're done with your workout, you see yourself, hey, did I really put in the best effort I could? 10 seconds. Five seconds. Here you go. Three, two, one, let's go. Keep it going. Smooth is fast. But with two minutes, you gotta go, baby. Let's go all the way through the minute. See if you can get 15. Maybe six, two. Let's go. All right, ready. Last minute of work. Let's go. Ha. Ha. If it's easy for you, speed it up. Thirty seconds. Let's go. Last twenty. Ah. Last ten. Two. Ah. Woo. Oh. On behalf of myself and all of us here at NC Fit, we want to thank you for participating in our class. Thank you for crushing it. Thank you for, you know, 
doing something that most people aren't doing. So if you have any feedback for us, let us know. If you haven't checked out our NC Fit Mat, we'd really appreciate if you do. It's a great op opportunity to, you know, cushion those wrists a little bit on burpees. So have a great day, everybody. Thank you for joining us and keep getting after it.